New pitcher in the game for Berea. It's Michael Smither. Smither's a sophomore from Shelby. And the Colonels have a threat here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Smithers' pitch is wide as Ryan squares the bump there. Two walks to lead off the frame for the Colonels. A huge opportunity to possibly, possibly get some runs across the plate. Smither works his client squares again, ball low to look out. Still no out here for the Colonels. That two lead off walks, and that's how Olsen and Brewer got on base. Here it comes. Klein squares again. <laughs> now it's a 3 0 count. Ball 11 here to start the bottom half of the eighth inning. Now all of a sudden it's a huge opportunity for the Colonels to get their bags loaded with no buggy out. Here's the pitch. Low again. Klein had no even thought of swinging at that one. No reason to. And now the bags are full of the Colonels are threatening to not just tie this game. Possibly take a lead. Now we sold and smoke catcher coming up and no outs to work with here, Colonels. So there's really no excuse if they don't score. Let's not even think about that, really. Smoke had a great at bat in his first attempt, and here comes Smithers pitch low in the dirt. Ball five. All right, if I was one of the Colonels batters, I would not even think about swimming any of these pitches because it doesn't seem like Rhea can even be anywhere close to the zone. Yeah, he's kind of. He's not even tiptoeing the zone right now. Here comes Smithers pitch low again, ball two. Nowhere to put him as well as the pitcher here for Korea. He's a little flustered out there, shrugging his shoulders. This is catcher Ryan Akins comes out to talk to him, the senior, and impart some wisdom on the young guy. 2 0 count here. Pitch coming from Smith, and that's low again. It's all seven. Bria Catcher looking to his dugout, trying to ask the coach, what do I do here? <laughs> what do I call? <laughs> A strike. 3 0 pitch. Inside of the Colonels have tied the game at two without having to record a single hit. That is an RBI for Smoke. And now Grant Harrell will come up to the plate with the base is still shut. And nobody out. You know, if you can get a run off four walks, you know, more power to you, Colonels. <laughs> Take what you can get. This up there here works. That's going to be a ball. No count here. Now, it's going to be the manager pacing in front of the dugout for Korea. Here's the pitch low again, 2 0. Okay. Catch a drop that one. So, <laughs> it's kind of just uh, one part. O'Connor's going to come in and uh, talk to his pitcher real quick. Yeah, um, chill out. <coughs> He's thrown ball 10, no strikes. Yeah, 10 straight balls. That's uh, I think he deserves a reward for that. Here's the 2 0 pitch. That's a strike at the knees. He found the lost treasure. <laughs> there wasn't a rainbow there, though, as the 2 1 pitch comes from Smithers. Now he's found strikes on back to back times, and the count's even at 2. Goodness, he can find back by time. Who knows what's about to happen? Oof. 2 2 pitch here. Grab out waiting. Swung on the ground in towards the middle. O'Connor going to pick it up, wheel it back to second, throw over first. Not in time. So that's an RBI fielder's choice. That's a nice takeout slide by Smoke. Since number eight there from Berea Stagger and Chris Works. Casey Kahn will score on that play and give the Colonels the lead, though, and they have a runners at the corners. Now up to that is number 26, Charlie Grigsby. Now Charlie Grigsby is going to come up to the plate here for the Colonels. The runners on the corners, just one out. And Charlie already had a couple of hits on the day and an RBI, so trying to uh, add on. It's already been a good day so far for him. Absolutely, I don't see any reason why not either. Grigsby's going to take a strike on the outside part of the plate, but we'll Colonels now with the lead, three to two. All of a sudden, we have a ball game here. Smithers delivers line over the shortstop's head. It's going to get down for another RBI for Grigsby, crossing the plate. There for the Colonels is Casey Klein, and now the score is four to two. Three runs on the frame. 
now up to that is number 14. And Here for Maria, really, what really this inning came down to is those four lead off walks to start the inning, and that's just you know, not something you really want to do. Not exactly. Smithers is pitched well in front of the plate. It's a 1 0 count here. That bat right now is Tanner Solly for the Colonels. And Senators trying to send their way out to the Southern Athletic Association tournament in Birmingham, Alabama on the high note. Here's the pitch on the side ball, too. Only one 
out here for Maria. Here's the delivery from James. And they strike two. Cardinals were down one more into this inning, and uh, it was not looking good for them, but they put up five runs now. Chase pitches well outside, full count here. To go up to a four run here. Bottom eight. If you had a bet for seven walks in the frame, it's a three few pitches line into right field with a base hit. One run to score. Litsy's going to be held up at third base. Very good round continues. It's now seven to two. Good piece of hitting there by Brewer. When he couldn't get a walk, he decided to hit the ball and get a hit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be. One way or the other, Colonel should get it done. Yeah, and if you bet on seven walks in this inning, you're a lucky man. You know, you're the one with a battle million dollars. <laughs> Andy Wilson now. There's a grounder towards short. It's going to go to six to four, all the way to three. And that is going to be a double play. Oh, yeah. and he was way off the bag and not even close to touching it. But the umpire called him out and he must be blind as a bat.